This is Jocelyn Gehliuma of Bachelor in Secondary Education, third year major in Social Studies. Today, I'm going to have my video demonstration for our final exam in teaching approaches in Secondary Social Studies under Mom Rachel Tapino. Kindly please stand up for the prayer and please bow down your heads and say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Abinis Rosalia, Abrasaldo Richilin, Bandigas Christine, Cortez Marisa, Dumugu Bibijin. So very good, everyone is present. So before we proceed to our discussion for today, let's go back to our we, what we discussed yesterday and what we learned yesterday. Yes, Mr. Trinidad. Yes. And who wants to share what we discussed yesterday? Yes, Miss Binondo. Yes. That's right. And who said the theory? Yes, Miss Makabingil. Yes, that's right. And as a result, there are seven continents were found. Is, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait. So, here in the PowerPoint that served as our map, I have a fragmented puzzle of continents. First, if you put Asia, I will choose six more so that they can build our world map and where is the location of each continent of the world map. Great! You put it right and now our map is already done and complete. But it doesn't end there. I have seven more pictures of places here and I hope you can compose it correctly where it is belong there on the seven continents. Now, I know very well that you are ready for our next lesson. Which do you think is the largest of the seven continents? Yes, Asia is the one of the continents of the world. The name Asia came from the Akkadian language or Aso, which means rising. The Greeks used it in reference of the areas to the east of the Greece because they were the first places where the sun shone. So, what is Asia called? Yes, Makabingil. Yes, that's right, because Asia is the Eastern world or Orient and their land is called the Western world or Occident. Asia has many unique characteristics. Here are one-third and a three-fifth. So, why do you think Asia has a large population? Yes, Tubio. That's right, and because the archipelago is large, the population is also large. Origin of the world's major religions. So, give me religions that you know. Uh-huh. Yes, that's right. 
Asia is also the origin of three of the world's ancient civilizations. So, what do you think they are? Mm -hmm. Land of the complex such as Mount Everest in Nepal, Tibet, and the Dead Sea in Israel, Lebanon, which are the highest and longest places in the world. Japan and Afghanistan with large differences in per capita income and Siberia and Saudi Arabia with the oldest and hottest temperatures. Asia is the largest of all continents in the world. It covers 33% of the entire landmass of the world. Asia is estimated at 44 million 579,000 square kilometers or 17,212,41 square miles. So we have a, there a continents and the total size. The, in, we have first Africa. In Africa, there are 30,065,000 30, kilometers. Antarctica, which have 30 million 579 kilometers 79,000 kilometers Australia with 7 million 687,000 kilometers Europe 9 million 938,000 kilometers North America 14 million 256 thousand kilometers and South America with 17 million 819 thousand kilometers so I have a challenge for you based on the chart you saw complete the following statements Asia is almost six times the size and even larger Asia on the combined blank content of blank and blank America. You just impressed me today. So let us applaud ourselves. Orders of Asia. Many forms, land and water serve as the border between Asia and other continents. Based on the map you are holding, can you identify the border of Asia in its northern part? The Bing Strait separates Asia and the state of Alaska, USA, from North America. So, what about East? And what about South? Yes. That's right. So what are the borders of Asia in a western part? Excellent. All you have mentioned are oceans and mountains. Now, let's talk about the form of land and water. Give me the form of water, you know. Yes. Very good. And what are the land forms? Yes, very good. All kinds of land and water forms of the world are found in Asia. Here in Asia are the highest mountains and lowlands of the world. Huge lakes, bays and seas, and oceans. And can be found in the continent of Asia. Here are some of the unique land forms found in Asia. First, islands. Borneo, Southeast Asia, largest in Asia. Sumatra, Indonesia, second largest in Asia. What else will you give? Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Trinidad. 
Yes, very good. Mountains and Himalayas is the highest in the world. Lachu, or Tibetan, Vishan, Anatolian, Arabian. Will you give me the volcanoes? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Mountains such as Everest are the highest and God Venastin is the second highest. In the plains and valleys, Tigris, Euphrates, and Mekong. And in desert, what? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Let's go to the form of water. Ocean, look up your map. That's right. The rivers are the sea and the longest in Asia. Lake, what is the largest lake in the world? Yes, that's right. In the Gulf are Persian, Islam, Turin, Lingayin, Davao, and Gulf of Pelan. While in Bay is Bay of Bengal, the largest in Asia, Manila Bay. Give me waterfall. Yes, very good. In generalization, Asia is the largest continent. Asia is home to all kinds of water and land forms of the world. Here in Asia are the highest mountains and lowlands of the world. Huge lakes, bays, seas, and oceans can be found in the continent of Asia. And now, I will give you the short quiz. Identify what each sentence describes. Write your answer in the blank. At this time, you will make a building a hierarchical organizer. Complete the organizer by identifying land and water features in Asia. Just write a letter to the organizer. For your assignment, make a map of Asia where the location of water and land forms can be determined. And that's all for today, class. See you next meeting. Thank you and class dismissed. That's it for my video demonstration.